new month new fragrances hi welcome to another episode fragrance news is what i usually do once or twice a month so first list for the month of september it's been a very busy one i must say we've got something from Guerlain, something from ted lapidus uh, juliet has a gun mercedes-benz have an amg line out um there's also a fragrance from a house called tom taylor that i was not aware of and i'll give you a bit of history around who is what is the house of tom taylor and what are they famous for and you know what's this fragrance all about yeah to kick start off the list from the house of Guerlain, sort of a designer niche type of uh, fragrance house um tobacco honey so tobacco honey if you know me you know i'm a sucker for tobacco with a bit of sweetness, the sweetness of honey, definitely a winner for me. Something that I'll be on the lookout for. If, you know, the money is right, definitely will be probably be getting it. Um, so top notes are listed here. Cloves, honey, anise. The middle is vanilla, tonka, tobacco, and sesame. And then the base of oud um, and sandalwood. So very interesting, but, you know, sweet tobacco, deep, dark. It's, it's 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 a nice balance uh, i think it look it looks like yeah so the marketing spew here uh, before i go into that um a big shout out to ifragrance.com and perfumo.com um this is where i get some of these uh fragrance news and updates from and then what they say about um tobacco honey from galan under the intricate eye of delphine elk so that's the perfume but the newest la art and la materiel is signed and sealed bringing forth the rawness of tobacco which is glazed with sweet honey as a match made in heaven luxurious vanilla binds the regal blend with tonka bean and sesame the woody sweetness of anise encounters the warmness of clove with creamy sandalwood and sacred oud wood um very interesting sounds like my kind of vibe you know probably a winter type of scent you know um very strong very sweet and in tobacco -y. usually a winter or evening type of scent right the next one is from the house the parisian house of juliet has a gun and this was one is called ode to dullness so this is straight up they are straight up saying that this is a dull middle of the road fragrance that's that's how they described it you know so here there's even a line from them that says i imagine this new fragrance as a tribute to blandness so it's bland it's dull it's just middle of the road nothing special about it I don't know, you know, what would, you know, drive a, a fragrance house to release a fragrance like this, but here goes, this is what they did. So top notes here are Frisia, Star Anise, and they made a sandalwood, cashmere flower, the, the base is musks and uh, tonka bean. So yeah, straightforward um, note breakdown here. And what they say about the, the, the fragrance here, the fragrance is penned as a floral musk with a slight creaminess to it. A perfume that can, but that you can wear every day that is not intrusive but still gives you a soft radiance. The cozy embrace of star anise at the top flows into comforting cashmere flower, creamy sandalwood, and tonka bean. So a middle of the road, nothing scary, nothing offensive type of fragrance, mass appealing um, for the people, essentially. An ode to darkness, Juliet has a gun. And the perfumer here is Romano Ricci, right? Very interesting for a fragrance house to release a fragrance and just say, no, nah, no, nah, it's just a bland middle of the road and nothing special fragrance. There you go. Interesting. But yeah, if you're, you know, a fragrance house like Juliet is a guy, uh, being bold and straightforward is your thing, right? At number three, from the house of Ted Lapidus, Ted, Cool Night Per Ohm. Top notes here. Some of my favorites, bergamot, grapefruit, pineapple, apple. So that fruity, fresh um, opening is guaranteed here. In the mid, you've got patchouli, provincial lavender, uh, rosemary, and then you've got leather masks and tonka bean at the, at, at the base. Um, what they say from a marketing perspective around uh, this cool night from Ted Lapidus is that uh, a moonlit escape, a midnight bath, the incarnation of vir virility under a mysterious new facet and all factory uh chiaroscuro combining freshness and aromatic intensity interesting 
an addictive fougere full of contrast and eminently elegant. The aromatic and freshness notes of lavender, rosemary, cit and citrus mute the amber woody tonka and patchouli. A luminous pineapple brings modernity and a masked leather accord as a bold signature to the fougere structure. One of the most weirdest and low most loaded descriptions of a new fragrance i've read in a while so they like to go wild and be try and be interesting to market the the fragrance but yeah that's what it is um and the fourth one here from the house of police uh, popularly known for making uh, very cool sunglasses um top notes yeah so it's it's um so so the line of fragrances is known as the uh, potion and this one is the potion absinthe uh you know a flanker of that potion line um there's usually there's a there's a female version uh, there's, there's a male and a female version and then the absinthe is the main male version so top notes here black pepper cannabis mandarin so manly type of punch there at the top with a bit of freshness spicy cannabis note not sure about that um i've only ever experienced the cannabis note in um the two and two forever young the heroes um from carolina area um so it's a very green type of uh, note and then the heart you've got sage absinthe star anise and then the base cedar wood a guy wouldn't let so very dry and earthy in the base there so what they say about it scandalous addictive this hypnotic cocktail brings you into a dazzling vision of absinthe mixed with sparkling and aromatic notes. A visionary elixir inspired by the legendary wormwood liquor that surprises for its charming complexity. Um, the creation in, an, in a game of subtle contrast between aromatic glacial notes, absinthe and leathery um, sensations. Very interesting sounding. Um, I just can't imagine what it smells like know but um yeah one of those um if you're an out there kind of guy you know you can definitely go for something like this definitely something very really different not a uh, middle of the road like most uh, fragrances um a bit daring it looks a bit daring from just the reading and just my thinking of the note combination here so yeah that's absinthe uh, portion absinthe from uh police the house of police and then the house that i'm not very familiar with fragrance house that i'm not very familiar with um tom taylor and from tom taylor comes cool mind so they say in the opening court spicy cardamom notes merge with warm cardamom aromas accompanied by a sweet touch of pineapple and subtle nuances of sisters right in the heart earthy patchouli nuances combined with strong cedar wood giving the fragrance a distinctive and masculine note. Tangy apple and intense scent of orange blossom balance the heart. Finally, tonka bean and vanilla unite in a creamy melange, which is contra contra uh, contracted by sandalwood and moss. So vanilla, tonka, so a bit of sweetness and creaminess in the base there. So the house of T Tom Taylor, a bit of history. Tom Taylor was founded in 1962 by Ewish Schroeder and his business partner under the name Henke & Co. in Hamburg. The company initially started as an importer of terry cloth towels and corduroy pants from India. Today, the fashion and lifestyle brand offers women's and men's clothing collections uh, for young children and young people and fashion accessories such as bag, eyewear and shoes. The brand is now represented in more than 30 countries and has gained a firm place in the international fashion world. Tom Taylor's first fragrance collection debuted in 1995. So that's a bit about uh, Tom Taylor, not a brand that I'm familiar with, but hey, um, very interesting to learn about. And I don't think I've ever seen it in my neck of the woods in South Africa, but I'll definitely be um, on the lookout since I'm now away. And now from the house of Mercedes-Benz, a car brand that makes very, very good fragrances, I must say. So now they've brought out a line of the AMG Thrill line. So you've got Black Thrill, you've got Red Thrill, and then you've got Silver Thrill. So they say it was created by master perfumer for, for, for Breeze Pellegrin. Each thrill summons a core component of the AMG universe. Silver for technology, Black for luxury, Red for passion, while accelerating a distinct mas masculine mood and moment very interesting um anything from mercedes-benz has always been good i've only ever smelled one i think um actually not one but a couple 
of the newer Mercedes-Benz fragrances. So they make very good fragrances. It's not like, it's not a gimmick. Um, they are actually good. Um, so yeah, the first one, Mercedes, um, the AMG Black Thrill EDPs. All of them are EDPs, by the way. So the notes here are Tonka, Tonka Bean, Clary Sage, um, uh, Mandarin, Orange, and Leather. Um, how they describe it is, um, uh, in Black Thrill, one of three fragrances by uh, AMG Parfums, Black Thrill is an addictive Tonka and Leather encounter. The aromatic thrill of Clary Sage and the bright verve of ripe Mandarin to create an intoxicating amber woody tribute to the feeling of pure freedom, right? So that's Black Thrill. And then red thrill, um, red thrill contrasts the intensity of cardamom spice vanilla with the luxury, with the smooth luxury of iris in a singular fragrance that brings to life the raw energy, ambition, and spirit, or and drive. Um, so notes listed yet just three: vanilla, cardamom, and iris. Right. So that's red thrill. And then the third one, silver thrill. Uh, notes here: patchouli, amberwood, and bergamot. Right. And how they describe it, Silver Thrill blends the energy of Bergamot with the rhythm of Amber Wood and Patchouli to channel the exhilarating pool of being a creator and the powerful grace of mastery under pressure. Right? So yeah, Black Thrill, Red Thrill, Silver Thrill from Mercedes-Benz, the AMG line, right? Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, eight fragrances, fragrance release for sort of the first half of the month of uh, September so far. Uh, it's looking like things are picking up in terms of uh, fragrance releases for the upcoming year. So exciting times ahead. Yeah. So with that said, please like, subscribe, share the video and uh, leave a comment down below uh, with suggestion of, you know, what you like on this list. And, you know, if you've gotten it, tell me what you think of it, etc. Yeah. Mm, well, till next time. Um, peace.